Oh, g'day. In this presentation, I'll walk through the setup and configuration of our fax mail service. Uh, so firstly, you'll need to add a fax number to your account. Now, if you're taking one of our fax numbers, uh, log on to Subsidy Live, Plans and Services, Manage My Numbers. Uh, this is the same screen used to add a DID to your account, but in this case, we're going to select a fax. Now, if you're porting an existing number across to us, uh, just advise us the number at the time of the port and we'll convert that number into a fax line. Now, once the fax number has been added to your account, our configuration is straightforward. Uh, so regardless of whether you're sending or receiving, the general principle of our service is reliance on email uh, for both receipt and delivery. Uh, we'll get you to specify your approved senders and receivers lists. Within our system, you can assign as many personal or D-lists um, to either group. Now for sending, uh, enter the destination fax number, followed by the at fax.subsidy.com.au. And that's it. Lastly, we'll send you a confirmation of success or failure. Uh, so here's what it looks like via the Subsidy Live portal. Now, I generally access all numbers via Lines Administration. We're going to scroll down to the fax number, which is marked by its own unique icon. Uh, click the fax number hyperlink, and that's going to open a new browser window. And now we're in the fax management page. Uh, you can set inbound rules for call reject and do not disturb. Under preferences, you'll firstly set the delivery options. If you have a fax machine connected to this, to this line, you can specify a number of attempts after which the fax uh, will fail over to an email address. There's options for who can receive. I recommend setting the option to specify um, from one of the email addresses below. You can set distribution lists. We don't have a limit on the size of on the number of emails in, this, in either of these lists. Uh, we support a number of formats, PDF, TIFF, Postscript and JPEG. And lastly, you can forward to an alternate number uh, if the fax line is busy. So for sending, uh, just enter the list of approved senders. Uh, that's faxing. You've probably got a bunch more questions. We'd love to hear from you. We're happy to take your calls via chat or send an email to support at subsidy.com.au. And thanks for your time.